you're feeling like you're striking out in your love life, don't worry, finding a suitable mate it's pretty tough, especially in this city. A new survey from an online dating site has ranked Vancouver women as the pickiest daters in Canada and the least likely to respond to a man's message online. This is according to AYI.com. Vancouver men have the hardest time getting a date through online dating sites than any other city in Canada. We, or Montreal women, excuse me, were ranked second and Ottawa came in third. Now, for more on this, we're joined by the president and owner of Vancouver-based executive search dating, Patty Rice. Patty, uh, first off, do you agree with the findings of this survey? Are Vancouver women picky daters? I actually sort of do agree, uh, Scott. I think, um, I mean, some people would say picky, others might say selective. Uh, I think in the case of online dating, particularly the free online dating sites, which I think is, is what the survey was talking about, you know, uh, there are a lot of people on there, and uh, women in Vancouver, if you talk to them, I would say most of them probably have either have an online dating horror story themselves or know a female friend who does. And so, yes, I think the survey is correct. Uh, I would just say, instead of using the word picky, I would probably use selective. I thought uh, what makes Vancouver women picky, I think, is, again, I'm, I mean, picky or selective, what, you, you choose uh, which term you want to use. I think um, basically what you want to do in online dating, I think, is you do want to have some criteria. Uh, there's a fine line between having some basic criteria and also not having a checklist of, of 25 things, which means you won't meet anybody. So what I would say to women, uh, and also to men as well, is try to find things that connect you. For example, if you're somebody that really loves traveling, uh, you know, perhaps try to, to, to find someone online who also talks a lot about travel. And then for the men or the women, whoever makes the first approach, probably the man, you know, maybe make reference to that. Um, instead of just saying, hey, what's up? You know, ask a question like, you know, uh, where did you travel to? Or tell me a bit more about your trip or something like that. So I think it's more about that. Um, also, the thing about online dating, sort of general advice uh, when it comes to women or men, um, is, yeah, you don't want to be so selective that you don't meet anybody ever. Um, you know, at some point you do have to meet people in person. And so what I would suggest is try to, you know, w without, you know, going through 25 emails, try to arrange to meet people from time to time. But, you know, meet them maybe during the day at a coffee shop. Uh, you don't want to be meeting people sort of late at night, you know, uh, that you haven't met before in some dark place. So be a little bit you know, uh, smart and safe about it. But at the same time, dating should be fun. Uh, and so don't, you know, have such a long checklist that you don't end up meeting anybody because that's certainly not going to lead you to, to love and happiness as well. Hey, fair advice. All right. Uh, Patty Rice, the owner and president of, of Executive Search Dating, certainly appreciate your time.